Go we ahead. get this. Danny gets this text message about the pool opening tomorrow. Now everyone's rushing over here. Yeah, I'm rushed over because you have to sign. Oh my god. You have. We're trying to hurry because they only have three. Here, look. He comes on. You gotta go to the office. Hurry. I know, but that, I can't. They're all trying to. Oh like, no. Hurry and beat so I get this text. Okay, I get this text that said our pool's opening tomorrow, on the twentieth. So. You have to sign up. There's three time slots, only from 9.30 to 11.30 and like 12 to 2 and then 2.30 to 4.30. Well, I go to sign up, bring my pin and everything because this is so stupid. The, um, and then some guy's like, you can't sign up till the time. And I'm like, how are you? Signing up is signing up. You don't just show up and sign your name and go swimming. Like, if you want to go swimming at 2, you don't sh show up at 2, sign up, and go. I mean, you you actually sign up. Like, that's what we need to do ahead of time. So, here I am trying to do that. But everyone's starting to show up. And I'm like, I'm, oh my god, you don't know how bad we want to, well, maybe you do. But we want to swim bad. It's 90 degrees. It's a beautiful pool area, too. Yeah. Right here. Man, it's really nice. I haven't nice. filmed anything yet because there's nothing open and yeah not being able to do anything but we are riding our bikes i haven't even filmed that see where those two flags are i'll go in there and so this guy told me that this doesn't make sense which i agree with because you should be able to sign up well i said maybe we should all just go to the office and t complain about it because people need to be able to sign up so that's what i'm going to do so this controlled thing is the pits but anyway, tomorrow it's going to open. It's going to be a freaking madhouse. She said it's going to be a trial run. So they're going to just let a few people come in? 25 people can swim. There's five in our family. Which I, I understand <laughs> limiting it, but they're only doing it three sessions a day. Wow. I mean, what does it matter if they do 10 sessions? What if they, why can't they just do... I mean, they don't have to control the hour or whatever. They just need to keep 25 in at a time. And I mean, limit it to like two hours or something, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess they're just trying it. I understand. I'm not going to be unreasonable. They, they don't know what to do either. But I did say, you know, we should be able to sign up because that's what the text says. She said, sign in. And I said, okay, we'll sign in, whatever. Sign in does mean different than sign up yeah. so it, I thought it said sign up though okay so maybe we'll see you tomorrow pool or maybe we won't but I'm gonna get up and um, I might go with the 930 one just to see if they the thing is, is say if you get there at 930 and you know and you're all ready to go to the pool you got your bathing suit on you got your, you know, your towel and everything. You got all your kids and you, oh my gosh. And then you don't get in. Yeah. Then you do that again. And then if you don't have it and you take your um, bathing suit with you and stuff. And then you have to get there. You got to go change. You know, you waste 20, 30 minutes doing that. And then what are they going to do? Say, okay, everyone get out. The 2.30, 2 o'clock session is over. And that's going to be ridiculous. I can't wait till the world to get back you, to the real world. You said that. You oh, said that right. What? Just, get back to the real world? It's just, yeah, it's just all this uh, craziness that's going on. I mean, I understand they're trying to control holy, holy mackerel. <laughs> I don't think I was recording the Any time. of that? <laughs> oh, well. I'll ad lib. Well, we're going to try to get into this pool. It's about a little bit after 11. And we're going to try to either go in now or sign up for the pool at 12. We'll see what happens. It was really cloudy. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot more people out tonight because it's not as hot. We're going to walk down to the water and just see if we can find the ducks. Look, we're taking little cinnamon with us too. We're going to carry her. Yep. She wanted to go for a walk too. There's our campsite. I love it. You can swim over here. Didn't look like the pool was open today. I don't know if the 25 people per session is working out. I mean, it was kind of sunny. I don't know why they would have been closed. 
but we just kind of gave up. We're just going to wait and just go when we want to go. We don't want to schedule or try to rush, wait in line to see what 25 people get in. That's not how we do stuff. It's so nice out that we're just going to go enjoy down here for a little while. And then I think Ethan and I might go ride bikes. Is it just us? Or are they gonna I think go? Aubrey might come. Okay. Look at the big puppy. See the big puppy? He's excited. You see the big puppy? There's some sand volleyball. Got some docks out here. Big picnic area. Paddle boats, canoes, kayaks over there. I'm trying to rip out of my hands to get to that dog. <laughs> The cutie. Come on, let's go get in the water. We'll go swimming. Come on. Here we are, just down the lake. So pretty. Come on. Come on. Get in. Not the prettiest water. I wouldn't want to swim in it. It's pretty murky. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're having fun over there though. After being at some of the lakes we've been to and rivers, boy, we've gotten a little bit spoiled to some really nice water. Although if it was hot enough, I bet we would get in a little bit <laughs> if we didn't have AC or something. Look at that beautiful sky. That is so pretty. There's the ducks. They're always around. And there's a little island over here that Ethan and Steve went fishing on the other day. Is that where y'all went over there? Did you get any bites? Uh, yes, ma'am. On this side. What, you did? Yeah, I got a few bites, but nothing today. You didn't bring anything in? Mm. All right. Across the lake is a little model home resort inside the Thousand Trails. But they have like two or three of them that I saw when we went on a bike ride. But I don't know if they're part of Thousand Trails or if they're just, they share the, the land here. I'm thinking they just share the land. Lots and lots of golf cars around. Let's see. There we are from the, from the beach. All right. There, the ducks are up close. This is the beginning of Memorial Day weekend, Friday evening, and it's getting pretty crowded out here. Super nice. It was kind of rainy today, but it's cleared up beautifully. Looks like we have a nice evening here. It's pretty warm, but we have a good breeze. The only thing is there are gnats out here. Oh, look at the ducklets. Tiny little ducklings. The old boy's chasing them. Tight. Look how cute. Oh my goodness, they're little tiny things. It's gonna be a pretty weekend. Even if it rains off and on, it's still gonna be refreshing. Not too hot out. Aubrey's got her book that she's enjoying. A little reader. Lots of people driving their golf carts around. I wanted to go out on that island, but somebody is always there. And now there's a ton of people with their... You gotta be early to get the worm, so to speak. 
They're like, you know, that's right. He's free too. Did you run off? Oh, it's fun. Wiggle, wiggle. Anjo doesn't like it. <laughs> I had him on the end yesterday. I think I freaked him out for wiggling it. Banjo. Somebody left their fishing stuff out here today. They'll be back for it. Oh, they got a nice yard. Yeah, they do. Oh, that'd be nice to be over there. Yeah, that's where we rode our bike over there and we couldn't get, I think it's down there. We couldn't get over here. No, over there where the sand is. Yeah, that's what we're getting ready to do in about 45 minutes is go ride our bikes. That's the highlight of the day. I haven't been in the washrooms, bathhouse yet but dad said they were the nicest nicest that he's seen yes the showers oh. they had two curtains one blocking the showers and one where you can change you yeah. know and the changing room was kind of real small but that yeah. was okay okay but the they were real nice room. and clean yes they were they i might like show bathroom. those now sometimes i will go to the bath houses especially before the c19 stuff i don't know just uh been used to staying at the house and got used to that over the past couple months but you know now that everything's open I have, I don't know, I have to spray everybody down and clean everybody down every time they go in and out and remind everyone about hand sanitizer and soap and even when you shower you know because when you come out you got to touch the handles and stuff yeah. and the towels because you hang them on the hooks in there you don't know if they've been cleaned come on let's go this way so, I don't know, it's just less to worry about doing that at home. Come on! Come on! Hi! Oh. <laughs>